Hello YouTube, and I am back with the long haul. We're on episode 19 here. I've been doing some base building overnight, uh, doing some more upgrades. Still working on getting the uh, foundation solidified to full on concrete, but that's perfectly fine. So, been doing all this. Uh, so basically, this part of the base is going to be a this first section of the base is not going to be like a living section. I want it to be a a fighting section. So it's going to be a little bit of a one of those uh and I want this base to be like you'll kind of see it come to fruition once I get it uh get it kind of more built out. But um once this gets built up, it'll be I think it'll make more sense. Um, you did miss it overnight. Uh, I wasn't recording, but you know, if you look at the, you know, being part 19 of of the series, it is the, and if you know the game, it is a, it is a dog day. And well, I actually already encountered the horde of dogs. They caught me off guard while building kind of the base, uh, I wasn't expecting them to come over and, uh, well, come after me, uh, this early. Well, earlier in the night, but it, they, uh, they really, kind of what they really jump scared me and, uh, but thankfully SMG held, held out for me, so, you know, really happy to have it and, but yeah, good stuff. Um, the spacing for the support blocks for, like, the upper floor, like, uh, well, not, yeah, what will be the upper floor, but also not, basically this base will be fully supported, but, um, via, it'll have, like, poles, uh, but the spacing on this actually turned out to be really good. This, so, uh, I'll start just kind of connecting here, you're like, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about, so. As I'm placing rebar frames, you know, I do want to tell you, if you do want to come see this uh, series live on Twitch, you know, chat with me and hang out, you know, check out the link in the description below and you will get to see. Um, other thing uh, with the dog horde was uh, I didn't actually get to, I didn't actually take out the whole dog horde, like, they actually came out and uh it was like I took them to I took a few out and then I had a a little bit of a um um basically I took a few out and they were then like I think they ran off to like the south ran off in the southeast and everything they ran away and it's like they will like I'll probably run into them if I go looting in town you know a little later, yo. But I'm just kind of like, good. You can run away for for all I care. Like after jump scaring me like that. So, but yeah, just building. You know, just want to make sure I at least get the basic skeleton of this base up, yo. Uh, yeah. You know, I thought because like I like the idea of being able to use the blunderbuss. It's like uh, may not be the most uh, practical weapon in the game, but you know it. I really like it. It's a fun weapon, so. But, you know, just really getting this, and I kind of want to be able to still use it to an extent. But learning from the first iteration of, well, from the little Horde base, if you haven't seen it, you know, check out one of the Horde Night episodes that, you know, you'll see it, like, uh, especially Day 14. It didn't work out exactly as planned. I didn't realize the reach of the zombies, but, um... Just a little bit more exoskeleton building here, yo. Know, I call it exoskeleton because, like, you know, that's just what these rebar frames really remind me of. Like, kind of an exoskeleton. Um, so. But, one second here while I just get these last couple blocks placed. Um, I would do the, uh, so basically what I'm planning on having is poles facing out towards the, uh, out towards the, like, zombies and everything like that. 
Of course, I'll flatten out more ground for, um, for blocks, you know, make sure that's all taken care of, you know, just so, but, uh, and then on the inside here, I'll have, um, I will have some, I will have some good old, uh, um, what am I trying to say here? I'll have some hatches. I'm trying to think, yo, how would I want to do this as a, as like a, for an entrance? I was thinking maybe, maybe garage doors on the, on the outside here, yo, on the, on the sides of the base. I think there's a 3x5 garage door. Let's actually go back over to the top of the cracker book here to check, uh, I think there is a 3x5 garage door in this in this, uh, in this version. No, like, a three-block wide garage door it would be helpful, so. Um, give me a second here while I get up to the workbench. So, garage door, I think it's... Yeah, garage door. And I'm just kind of looking at the resources, I'm like, it's really doable. I can... I could do that fairly easily. Uh, I would need four, so I'd need a lot of mechanical parts for it. Of course, just smelting more... more you know, been smelting a ton of this in, you know, the cement, you know. Probably gonna wind up needing more, but I digress. Um, you know, got more cement mix on the craft. You know, a bit more ready, so... I think, uh, yo, especially since the dog horde is done and over with for the time being, um, I'm thinking about taking a little excursion over to the, over to the, uh, town in the north, yo, that we discovered before. Oh, sorry about that. A <laughs> little base, uh, we'll just throw in a little bit more on that. There we go. There we are, just... Yeah, I'm thinking to myself, just, uh, you know, do a bit more looting, didn't... I only really hit up the stores over there. Uh, but it'd be really nice to, uh, just go back up there and do some more looting, so... Let me do some, uh, upgrades and... to the... soon-to-be new base, and, uh... And I will I'll let you know once I get to the new town. You too, we are coming up on the on the northern town. Just uh, here uh, in a second. Gotta get up the hill. And we are back over here. Now, first order of business, because uh, we are coming back over to this town, I did not give it... Um, I did not give it its credence, uh, give them their credence. I need to go over to the trader that is basically local to this town. I'll take care of a couple zombies though, just, just to give them a nice, huh, since they want to give me the welcome wagon. Come on guys. I know you want to give me the welcome wagon. Mikey. Yeah, I know you're ladies, man, but come on. Bam. Bye. Um, but as I was saying, there is a trader to the like the northeast of this town. So, oh, thank you. Uh, I'll show you on the map here really quick. There's a there's a trader right over there. So let you know. I figured we're gonna come back to this town. We're gonna take a we're gonna pay that trader a visit and. I don't remember how long it's been since we've came back to this. Uh, I, I don't think it's been 10 days. I have loot respawn set to 10 days, uh, but we'll just take a quick little look see uh, in here. No, it hasn't respawned yet, so otherwise I'd be re hitting up the uh, the good old uh, um, Shotgun Messiah and all that, you know, for pieces and all that so 
No, but, you know, give me a, give me a quick uh, moment and we'll go see who this uh, traitor is. Alrighty, we are pulling up to the new traitor. We're about to see who it is. Um, I wonder. No, I'm, I actually don't know who it is right off. Wait a minute. Could it be? Could it be? I think it is. Oh! If Wait a you minute. Break it, you buy it. Trader Jimmy! Hello! How are we doing, good sir? I was... I was thinking it might have been Trader Jen, but... No, it is not Trader Jen. And he just restocked, so... Doesn't really have that much for... Stock. Um, has some decent stuff in here, like some gun parts and all that. Um, got some, got some, really only thing he has that I potentially want would be some, would be a little bit of, uh, All what right, he, now that we're done doing business, get out of my store. What am I trying to say here? I'm, he's got some, he's got like maybe the hops, uh, the hop stuff and all that. Watch yourself, stranger. I need Another airdrop rolled out. To our, to our northwest. I was thinking it was going to be Trader Jen over here, you know. Yeah, you really don't got much for me, buddy, so. You're getting on my nerves, friend. Oh, I'm sorry, but, you know, if you want to... If you want to, if you want me to buy something Shit, from man, you, I treat you that good, and you don't even fucking tip. Hey, hey jackass, can I lighten that backpack up for you? Oh, you be quiet. Trader Jimmy doesn't actually. Thanks, buddy. That, that's a tr that's an old. Uh, he's an old uh, trader, like. Evan, like he doesn't exist on uh, PC version anymore. I was thinking this was going to be Trader Jen because I, th I could be wrong, but I think this is Trader. This was Trader Jen, Trader Jen's compound for a while at at some point in PC's lifetime. I was thinking, oh, could this be Trader Jen's compound? And unfortunately, no, it is not. Um, I'll take your blueberries because you got a lot of them, though. Since he since he wants to be rude to me, then he gets his uh, then he gets his blueberries looted. That's just how it works, uh, Trader Jimmy. Uh, personal, but um, yeah, I believe this used to be. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought this used to be Trader Jen's compound. It's like, but apparently it's Trader Jimmy's, and I think I know Trader Jimmy was taken out of the game later on. And then he was taken on, then, uh, then you got, uh, uh, this compound, I think, became Trader Jen's, and then, uh, I know it's not Trader Jen's anymore. That was on, um, she now has a church for a compound on PC, and also in the upcoming console version. But, let's quickly drive over here and check out this airdrop while it's still fresh. So, um, it shouldn't be too long here. That's really cool, uh, seeing Trader Jimmy. It's like, kind of a forgotten trader. It's like, uh, I completely forgot he existed on this version. It's like, usually I run into, like, Trader Joel or Bob or Hugh. I could have sworn, though, like, Trader Jen that exists on this version. She doesn't look like, uh, Let's just say she's not as gifted as she is on the, on the, on the PC version. If you know, you know. But, um, okay. Airdrop time. Nail gun schematic, and some first aid kits, which I'll gladly take. I completely forgot to read, uh, the hop seed, but, and SMG stock, so... 
That's a much better SMG stock, and that is actually my weakest component right now to the SMG. So, wonderful little find. I'm really happy to see a nice little find in the, uh, you know, for the SMG. It's like, uh, those are kind of the rarest parts to find on this version. Let's search up these couple cars real quick. Probably don't got much, but... Nurse. Hello. Come here. There you go. Well, thank you for the splint. And what you got? Nada. Yeah, I'll meet you guys over uh, back in the town and uh, at the first looting spot I want to do. Alrighty, and we are coming up on the old... Uh, we are at the one of the wealthy homes here in in, in this uh, town. Um, you don't want to hit these up because they got leather and all that, which is easy for selling, and you know they can give various resources. Would you look at that? A couple brass trophies. Gladly take them. Try not to scrap them down. Diver's book. Got a little bit of company coming in to say hello. Guess they're a little mad that I didn't. I was knocking with a fire axe, but eh, eh, they'll get over it. Um, Bobby boy, come over here. If they give me any you know, lead trophies, I will, or fishing weights, I will gladly take them. Come here. Why uh, the, the bodies don't cause collisions? Like, oh boy. Come here. You're done. Come on. Y'all are gonna be really... Y'all are really excited to really have a talk with me. Um... You're taking care of... Charlie. Come on. There you go. Well, Lady One, 35 skill points to spend. Get over here, you. No, you don't get to walk away from this. Y'all decided to bug me with your welcome party. There you go. Search the car out front. Nada. Um, sounds like someone might be hanging out in the backyard. Let's just check up on him. Yeah, it's just a nurse. Come here. And blunt weapons is up to level 30, so we're making progress on that. Good stuff. Um, backpack. What do you got for me? Come on. Magnum grip. I'll take it. I won't say no to a magnum grip. It's like, uh, despite you know, like me saying I don't really want level 100 stuff, but like stuff below level 100s. One of those. It's like, if the weapon, if my weapon parts are High quality, it's kind of like, they don't really provide much, but, you know, it's like if it's like that, you know, I have like level 100, you know, so if that's like below 200, I'll, I'll still take it. It's, you know, at least uh, will help out. Besides, if I find more Megum parts, then I can just uh, use it for, make, uh, use it for grabbing more of the old, um, yeah, just... I can use it for repairs, at least. Well, no. Put it together. Okay. Check out the old bedroom. Afterwards, I'm locked, but I was already breaking into it. No worries. This door is locked, though. Toilet, anything good? That is a bit of... That is a little bit of toilet water. Oh, well. Um, we'll check in on the old, um, uh, what was I gonna look at? Look at the old, uh, just check out the trash here, and we're going to look at, and then we'll just break into here, because I will check you for your parts. Yeah, would you look at that, like I was saying, you know, find, uh, find me a, you know, Almost already got another complete magnum. 
funnily enough, it's like, uh, but those will be, it'll be merged together and all that. Give me a second and I will go loot the gun safes for you. We'll check out, break into the safes, my apologies. Let's check out these safes. Ooh, nice hunting rifle receiver. Did have to take out a zombie uh, that was trying to have a word with me in the bathroom. Told them no and you know, didn't need to do that. Thank you for your painkillers. And check out this gun safe. A full pistol with, and then a good shotgun stock. And then we got hunting rifle barrel and all that. We'll just scrap that stuff down, and um, we'll just we'll keep that. That stock, I'd say that extra stock. It'll be. Um, I did make the mistake of not bringing workbench with me to merge stuff, but it's okay. Oh, hello! Seems like some zombies got in the uh, gotten into the backyard and decided to have themselves a pool party. Nope. Go. You don't need to do this, uh, I'm Bob Boy. Okay. There we go. I did forget about this oh, once safe and this the corpse, but we'll just check him out on end. Oh. Yeah, I figure you'd be a nice little excursion. See who the traitor is up there, like. You know, kind of nice seeing like a tree that's not on PC anymore. Really interesting to see. So, okay, pop the safe open really quick. Not really worried about drowning. Eh, just some paper. What do you got? Nothing. Well, thank you, corpse. You really made that worth it to check out. Okay. There's another wealthy home I want to check out, and then we'll probably hit up one more for for the fun, for the fun stuff. Uh, check out another POI. It's like uh, I'm kind of using this town to, to loot in moderation. So uh, level 237 stone X. Thank you, but no thank you. I don't really want it. Got better tools than that by now. Come here, Bob. If it was Taz's stone axe, which is a hard one to find, I would be much more inclined to look for. I would be much more inclined to keep it because that's a pretty hard one to find. Thanks, Bob. Um, I think this is a different. No, I think this is the same layout of wealthy homes. So. But it's still good loot nonetheless, you know, good little location. Um, just take care of the couches for leather and all that. Um, yeah, this is the same little place for reading. A bit more murky water. Uh, I'll get again here for you on YouTube to break into the safe. Shouldn't take too long. All right, let's check out the safes here and and the rest of the place. We got pistol receiver and grip and hunting rifle stock. I'll just throw those two together really quick. And we got a backpack here. Another pistol receiver. Iron reinforced club and just kind of go into iron. I always like having an iron pile here. Getting later in the day and you know, getting a little cold, but nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. Um, what do you got for me, big boy? You have a a magnum grip, and we'll just toss that and actually just make some duct tape from that just to. It it doesn't really help out, but it's like, you know, just just have a little bit of extra. What do you got for me? Or cloth. I uh, not really that entertained there, but 
There's two more cloth. We'll just jump down here. And we'll just keep on raiding. Uh, we'll leave the meat in there. It'll be fine. I was hoping, yeah, I've been hoping for maybe a a safe out of the, well, no, um, yo, another wrench out of one of these places, yo, might be a decent quality because, don't get me wrong, I love my, I love having my good old, uh, rating of doing the, a lot of canned food, you know, I love having my level 75 wrench, but it's like, it's like either, It'll be give me level forty in construction tools, or give me a a stinking you know, give me a stinking. Oh hey, would you look at that magnum magnum grip and uh, cylinder? I I'm not worried about drown, folks. Don't worry. Um, we'll just actually grab that cylinder. And there we go. Then we'll just grab the grab the, uh, the the extra grip paper. That will be fine. Might have to dump some stuff off in the old uh, mini bike once this place is done. But yeah, you know, we're it's like um, check this out. A magnum, a magnum frame. So, well, actually, we found a. We have actually put together another full magnum. So, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, level one seventeen. We'll we'll merge that together. Um, there we go. So, gonna hit up one more POI before nighttime. Uh. Where's the mini bike at? I think we'll hit up the the house over there, you know. This so we'll just bring the mini bike around, we'll have it facing south because yo, know, I like coming up to raid this town, you know, once in a while just for just to shake things up. It's it can provide good loot. Um before I get too gung ho, ready to go here. Um but like I was saying, I would like to go, you know, I would like to stay in here, stay here for a little while longer, but, you know, I have to, I have a Horde Knight to, to consider and all that, so, you know, I'd like to, uh, it is coming up in a couple of days, it's like, uh, it may seem like a lot of time with this being on 60 minute days, but it's one of those, you know, better to be safe than sorry. Just wanted to quickly uh, go and like just go into the assembly mode real quick to take apart get them ammo out of that nice bandana we'll just repair that um might actually keep that hood sweatshirt just for the good old uh you know in case i need you know stay warm in a winter biome if i stay there for a while murky water got refrigerator with nothing in it Cupboards, you know, and there's uh, some jars. I'll take the iron, no problem. Um, we got an upstairs to check out really quick. Uh, duffel bag, what do you have? Shot short shotgun stock. It's like the short shotgun stuff to me is just worth nothing. It's like a uh, Sorry if you people love, there's people that watch these, you know, that love the sawed-off shotgun, but just not my cup of tea. Um, we'll just break that in advance. Dogs? What the? Wait a minute, why are there dogs? I know it's dog day, but... I already had the I already had the dog board from earlier. I actually saved that. I saved that uh bandana. I like blue bandana, but uh we'll check out the book bag in here. 
shotgun short barrel can be scrapped down. And shotgun schematic, I'll take that for a three-point gunsmithing. You know, it's a really nice, uh, so we're actually almost to the point where gunsmithing is really not gonna do much for me anymore, like, uh, to increase it. I should have the SMG out, just... I was not expecting... Not expecting a dog horde to show up. Go away. I... Wow. I did not expect you to show up. That is really unusual. Like what? Like what was the dog doing here in the? You know, before. At the end of the day, I will. I don't know, but it is dog day after all. But that's gonna be about it for today's episode, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the looting and you know, also seeing Trigger Jimmy. You know, definitely haven't seen him in a long time for me personally. And uh, but I am going to go back to town overnight and also do some. Uh, resource gathering overnight and, you know shouldn't have too much uh, trouble in terms of zombies uh, but I will hopefully see you uh, alive and well in the in the morning and in the old in the uh, current town have a great day